One of the queens of the <laughs> Big Bush eras was Xavria Hollander, the happy hooker. She had a series of books she wrote about her role of being a high-class call girl. And Henry Kissinger, recently dead Henry Kissinger, was rumored to be tied into her a little bit. And then uh, she also had a featured column in Penthouse, Letters to Xavria, her sex advice column. And you talk about times being open. And these kids with all their new, we're making new rules, new words, new definitions, new victims, new excuses, new this, new that. The 70s were probably the most free period going. The hippies rammed the door wide open. People went wild with sex, drugs, rock and roll, disco, film, art, humor. <laughs> humor that nobody could go, wah, 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 don't offend me. Because you might learn from the offensive humor. It, we were free. You kids don't even know what free was. There were no phones, no tracking, no nothing, no cameras. You could do anything and not risk getting filmed doing bad, fun stuff. Vandalism? You kids have no idea what you could do and not getting caught. Whew. Right, Don? Matt? Michael? Hmm. Orlando? Oh, sorry, sorry. We don't want to risk a scholarship. She was born Xaviera de Vries. When she was 23, she won an award for being the best secretary in the Netherlands. But Xaviera had bigger ambitions, and soon afterwards she moved to New York, where she changed her name and her line of work. Too many people have the wrong idea about who I am, what I am. There's no question that she's Xaviera Hollander. What she was? Well, if you ask her, she'd say a happy hooker. Whatever field I ended up in, it's always been an ego trip. I wanted to be the best numero uno. In the early 70s, self-described social worker Xaviera Hollander had reached the top in the world's oldest profession. While she worked, millions looked on, catching a sneak peek into the illicit world of prostitution through her best-selling book, The Happy Hooker. Everybody's got to make a living. <laughs> In 1966, Xaviera left the Netherlands, arriving in New York to work as a secretary at the United Nations. She quit soon after that, realizing that she could make a better living with her night job. Expanding her business, she soon became New York's number one madam, running a thriving yet discreet shop from her east side penthouse. I have never revealed the identity of any of my customers, whether they're politicians from Washington or any, any other city. In October 1971, Xaviera made headlines. During a special police corruption hearing, it was revealed that she'd been paying off the police for protection. Thrust into the spotlight, she created a lot of attention, making many high-profile people very nervous. All of a sudden, it seemed like there was pressure being put on, especially from Washington, I've heard. And actually, the idea was to get me deported. On April 17, 1972, the Immigration and Naturalization Service ruled that Xaviera Hollander had to leave the country in 11 days or be deported. Six days later, she voluntarily packed her things and left. If I behave well and I leave like a lady, I hope I can come back as a lady. But Xaviera Hollander could not be stifled. She continued to write about her exploits in books and in a column for Penthouse magazine. Because, as she later quipped, Uncle Sam barred my body, but he can't bar my voice. Well, exactly permitted to visit the United States in March of 1989. She hopes to return this April to meet with producers about a possible movie deal. Thanks for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe icon or watch the next video that YouTube tells you you'll like that I've uploaded. I think we can accommodate you. All. All of you. Come on. Come, 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 come.